Hi friends, in this video we shall see how to create a ticketing system or an order capturing system. First, we will need a Google form to capture the order. Suppose we are having a sweet shop. Let us rename our untitled form as sweet shop. We will collect the email addresses as it is mentioned here. And we will create one inquiry that is item and that answer will be a multiple choice say for example we have a cake or maybe some cookies or some chocolates we will leave it at that and once we have created this questionnaire we then go to the responses next to the questions and try to link one google sheet in which we are going to create the tickets or the order numbers so here i will select response destination and create a new spreadsheet we can rename it as order create once you create you will get a message as spreadsheet linked on the left hand corner bottom so now we will go to that sheet you can click on this green icon here so you have the timestamp the email address from where you have requ re requested the order the score and item we don't need the score here now we'll try to see the preview there is an eye icon here we click on that and we get the preview of your google form so it is capturing the email address and the item that we want so i select cake here and submit your response has been recorded now we go to our form the google sheet your response will come something like this now we need to create a worksheet to work around a ticketing system. So for that, what I will do is I'll click on the add sheet button here. There are other options as well, but I prefer this one. Add sheet, a sheet is opened here. I'll rename it as worksheet. And what I will do is I will try to capture the complete item that is there here on the worksheet for which I will use the formula query the easiest formula that we can use here and suppose we open the brackets now it has to have a data a range from where the data has to come here so what I'll do is I'll select the entire because whatever data comes here has to be transferred to worksheet so I'll select from A to D column and put a comma post which we will have an inverted comma and inside the inverted commas we'll have select space and a star so what this will do is and close the inverted commas and enter the whole range will be copied to your sheet now first we will need to have the company name in your order number there needs to be some abbreviations. Suppose your company name is Sweet Shop, or maybe just for the name's sake, we are saying company, we'll have the abbreviation CO. What, whenever a data comes here, you need to have a CO here, for which we normally use the formula if, and there's a timestamp or any of the other columns that are A, B, C, D, you can select is equal to blank comma then blank. If not, there needs to be a word that comes in there that is CO. I close it. So you see here CO. If I copy this down to the next cell will come blank because it is taking as a blank here if there is an item here then immediately a timestamp here then immediately 
CO will come. But we can have another formula instead of copying and pasting all the formulas all the way down. I delete this formula here and just before if I will put a bracket and use array formula. What array formula does is it copies the whole formula all the way till the last row that is there in this column. And if I push enter, you see I don't have to write it again. We will go to our form responses. We assume that more responses have come. I will just copy paste this multiple times. Now you see in the worksheet, I have done one less item here. So what I have to do is whenever you select an array formula, you have to select the complete column from where you have to pick the value. So here we have selected the A column. So from A to E to A, which means whatever value comes in there, this formula will be applied to each of the cell. So now if I enter, you see everywhere that CO has come. Now once we have done the company name, what we have to do is we need an uh, order name. What have they ordered? So in this case, they have ordered cake. So you have three items here. For each of these item, what we will do is uh, we will create a unique value here is equal to unique. This you can do here or in the same form responses sheet. So what I'll do is I will do is equal to unique and select the whole till the end. That is D2 is to D will give you the unique values, whatever orders that come in. Now only cake is there. For example, we have received a response as is, or maybe we have received as chocolate. So whatever comes in here, we will have a unique value here. Now against this unique value, we'll create an abbreviation for cake, maybe CK, for cookies, maybe C I, or for chocolate, maybe CH. Now we go back to a worksheet and here we again go the old formula that we know we look up we look up what for the item where the form responses so i will select this whole column for the benefit of doubt because we might have more items coming in after comma i will select the second column that is there because the response has to come from the second column and true or false as zero. You see it has come here. Now again I don't want to copy this formula all the way till the end. What I will do is again I will make use of array formula before we look up. So array formula is there. Enter. And again here remember to put D2 is to D. That the whole column of VLOOKUP is selected from where the VLOOKUP happens. And to avoid not available in the responses, you see when I enter this, what happens is wherever there is no item it is coming as NA, that is not available. To avoid this, to make it a little more cleaner, just before we look up, I will put an if error. Then comma inverted commas here then it will do away the NA because here it will recognize that there is nothing there is no value there and it will give a blank cell for us now after order number what we need is the date now this date from a stamp time stamp that has come here it is picking up the date on which the order has come but it is selecting also the time which we don't want in our date number or the order number what I'll have is a new different date format, for which I will use is equal to text. Now this whole thing I want as text, comma in which format, in inverted commas, I will put dd dash yy dash or dd sorry dd mm month and then yyy and close the inverted commas and enter. So you have this as the format now. You can change the format as you wish. You can put only DD and YYYY 
or m m y y y y or month and date depends on your choice again instead of dragging this whole formula down till the end i will do an array for this array formula enter and this again i will select the whole thing a to is to a and then enter see till the end it is selected again to avoid the dates being copied everywhere what i will do is before text i will just put if error i'll select if error and then before the last bracket ends i will put a comma and to leave it blank i will select two inverted commas it is not picking up so i need to use some other formula here instead of if error i'll have to use if uh, a2 right a2 is to a is equal to blank then leave it blank if not i would like to have a text so now if you enter it it will do it so if error won't work in this case as we have checked it so you can use if and remember to select the whole column otherwise array formula will not be copied to the subsequent cells now finally we need to have a lengthier formula to create a serial number now this serial number is important because every day it needs to change for example you have orders 10 orders on day 1 so it will go up to 10 serial numbers on the second day you have 50 orders so it will go up to 50 numbers so to do that you need to uh, have a lengthy formula just pay attention you have is equal to if you can but here be careful to select this date only which is remaining constant don't use any other cell because it is not constant here you have date remember the date is equal to it is blank then blank if not again you have to use if now count if remember this count if open same cell again is to same cell again comma e do i close this bracket here now we need to use dollar sign to keep it constant now remember where all i use the dollar sign the dollar sign has to be put one here and one here because this remains constant it doesn't change when you drag the formula now here we have to put just before the g and here also just before the g because when you drag down it has to select the subsequent cells after this what i'll do is i will put a uh, greater than or um, lesser than sign and then put 10 if it is lesser than 10 then in not to commas open i have three zeros and along with that what i will need is a count if again count if i'll copy this whole thing again and paste it here now after this again i'll have to do a if because i don't need the three zeros everywhere some places when the number digit increases more than 10 it has to automatically select only two zeros when the number increases more than 100 then it should take only 10 so to do that what i'll have to do is i'll have to copy this whole thing if and then paste it again here and in place of 10 i'll have to put 100 and in place of 3 zeros have to put only 2 zeros once again for 1000 value i'll have to paste it again i'll open this formula bar once again and close this explanation here and in place of 1000 Hundred, I need thousand and only one zero here and count if. And now, if I enter this, you see here, it will give this value. Now I'll have to drag this till the end. So it will wherever the date is constant till there, it will give the same value. Suppose this date changes, then again it will start from zero 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 one. So now you have all the ingredients to have your ticketing system. 
Finally, we create the order number, which I will use is equal to, I need first the company name in my order number, second and inverted comma open. Now I need a break between the company name, order name, date and serial number for which I will use a slash close the inverted commas and the next order number name order name again and inverted commas slash inverted comma and the date I want and again slash finally I need the serial number I need to put another and and serial number so this is how it's going to work so this is your order number you can have different varieties of order number maybe you don't need a date to have such a lengthy order number but this is for you to keep a track of your order number now this you have to copy and select the whole column and put it till the end and wherever the order number is not there only those three slash will come because that is constant which is already there other values are not there that's why it has not come so this is how you create a ticketing system or order number capturing system you can do much more in this how you deliver the order using google map which we can learn in the next classes next sessions so now uh, i think i have told enough regarding the ticketing system do remember to subscribe to my channel for more updates and more videos and also remember to click on the bell icon for notifications thank you very much